Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you some things you can do with Quick Look that you may not have known about. So Quick Look on your Mac is the easiest way to preview a file without opening it. For instance, here I am in the Finder, and if I want to see what this image looks like right here, I can select it and then press the space bar, and then I get the Quick Look window. It allows me to see the image clearly, and another press of the space bar will close the Quick Look window. Often I find that people don't realize that you can still navigate around in the Finder with the Quick Look window open. So for instance, notice I have this file selected. If I use the down arrow, it goes to the next file, and the up arrow will go up. If I use Quick Look with the space bar, I can do that, and it will go to the next file, and the Quick Look window will simply show me the next file. I can, in fact, shrink the Quick Look window and move it off to the side, and I could select any file I want using the pointer like that. Now, when viewing an image, of course, it shows you the image. When you view another type of file, it'll show you the content of that file. If the file's a document, like a PDF file or a pages document, and there's more than one page to it, you can see all of the pages. For instance, let's take a look at this PDF right here. If I press the spacebar to bring up Quick Look, I get a preview of it and I see the pages here. I can scroll up and down with my mouse or trackpad and it will show me which page I'm on, or I can just click on the page here in the sidebar to jump to it. Now how this works depends on the type of document. For instance, here's a pages document. If I quick look that, I won't get the thumbnails to the right, but I do get the entire document. I can scroll through it pretty easily. With something like a numbers document, you can actually look at the different sheets in the document. Now when viewing a file with text in it, like this pages document, you can certainly preview it and then decide to open it in the app, but you can also select text right here. So if you just wanted to copy some text from a document, select it and then use command C to copy. Now you could paste it somewhere else. This works just about anywhere there is text, even images, you can use command C to copy. Now, of course, viewing any image is gonna show you the image, but there's something called live text that's on your Mac that allows you to select text when you're using an app, say like preview. You can use that in Quick Look as well. For instance, I could go here into the text, even though this is an image, not a text file, and I can select text, and once I have it selected, I can copy it and paste it somewhere else. This also works with data detectors. Data detector is something that when you see like an address or an email address or a date and time, it can help you use that data to do something like create a contact. Say in this case here, you see if I control click or two finger click on this, I get add to contacts or show address, things like that. If I select a date like this, I can create an event, create a reminder, show this date in the calendar and things like that. But it'll also work on any kind of file where it can read text. So here's a regular text file and I can select this time here and I can create an event, create a reminder. By the way, if you find these videos valuable, consider joining the more than 2000 others that support MacMost at Patreon. You get exclusive content, course discounts and more. You can read about it at macmost.com slash Patreon. A lot of people don't realize you can use Quick Look to preview files that aren't even Apple applications. For instance, you can use it for Microsoft Word documents like this one. So it's a handy way to see the contents of a Word document, even if you don't have Microsoft Word. Or here's an Excel document, and you see how I can even jump to different sheets inside of it. You can even do things like CSV files. You can look at them. And even though the CSV file is plain text, it actually will show it to you as a table. Another thing you would preview is an ICS file. An ICS file is a file that'll allow you to add an event to your calendar. We commonly get these when we buy an airplane ticket or a ticket to some event, and then it says add to your calendar, and what you get is an ICS file. You double click on it and it adds that event to the calendar. But you can preview these, select it, and then press spacebar, and it will show you the event in a calendar-like format and better still, it shows you existing events in your calendar. So you can quickly look at this, see if there's a conflict and not even have to open up the calendar app. Another interesting file that you can preview with Quick Look is a web location file. This is when you drag and drop a URL from Safari to a finder window, you get this bookmark file, which you can double click, open it up in your default browser. But you can use Quick Look to actually preview the location of that, it will load up the web page in a Quick Look window. Now, if you double click on a file, it will open up in the default app. For instance, this JPEG image will open up in preview, the default app for that file type. But if you wanna know what the default app is before you open it, 
you can do it a couple of ways. One is you can use command I to get info, and then you could see open with, and you could see what the default app is there. But Quick Look will do it too. If you press the space bar, notice the button at the top right tells you the name of the app it will open it with. And you can use this button so you can preview it first in Quick Look and then decide, yeah, you do want to open it and then click the button here and it will open it. But another interesting thing about this button is if you control click on it or two finger click on a trackpad, right click on a mouse, it actually gives you the list of all apps that will handle this type of file. So the default one's at the top, but you can now choose another one to open it instead. Now, when you use Quick Look to preview an image, not only can you select the text in the image like that, but if you control click on it, you can see a variety of different things, including translate. Now, one of the things you can do in Quick Look with an image is you can rotate it. So if this was the wrong orientation, I can use this button up here to rotate it to the left. If I hold the Option key down, notice the arrow changes to the other direction, I could rotate to the right. This also works with videos. If I use Quick Look, you could say I can preview the video here, but I have the ability to rotate the video if it's the wrong orientation. Also, you can use Quick Look to copy the content of an image. This is different than copying the file, which copies the whole file, and may actually work to paste it into some apps. But other times you just want to copy the actual image inside. So I can control click, two finger click, or right click here, and I can choose copy image to copy the entire image. I could also choose copy subject, which uses the functionality to isolate the subject from the background. You find this in the Photos app, you find it in Preview, but you can do it here in Quick Look without even opening up the app. Matter of fact, you can use Share Subject right here to instantly copy the subject and go right to an app, say like Mail, with just the subject copied, not the entire image. You can also use all the markup tools in Quick Look. So if I look at a PDF like this, I can certainly open it up in preview and use markup tools, but I could also click on the markup tools right here in Quick Look. I'm still in Quick Look here, and I could still do things like add shapes and arrows and things like that, and then I could share it directly from here. I can revert or done to apply the changes to the document. Now in photos and a preview, you can also identify objects, but you can do it in Quick Look as well. Just wait a second and you might see this little icon appear here at the top. When it does, it means it's identified an object here. If you click it, you'll see the identification icon there, and then it will tell you information here to the right. This will work for plants and animals, but also for landmarks. So for instance, for this one, you can see it appears, and I can get info on it, and it will tell me about the object it's identified. But let's go back to video for a minute here. I can certainly open this up in QuickTime Player or a video editing app and trim it, but I could do it in Quick Look as well. In addition to having this little rotate button, I've also got the trim button here, and it allows me to trim the video, so cutting off portions of the beginning and end. And if I click Done, it will ask if I want to replace the existing video or save it as a new file. You note, know, you could also preview and trim some kinds of audio files. This MP3 file here doesn't come up with a trim function, but this M4A file actually does. You could see here, I've got trim, and I can actually trim the audio. Now, usually when you use Quick Look, you just press the space bar, and it opens up a Quick Look window. You can then go up here to this button at the top left, click it, and it will go full screen, showing you the image, taking up everything, and clearing away everything else so you can focus on the image. You can then use the Escape key or click here to go back to the regular window. Now, you could start full screen by holding the Option key and pressing Spacebar. Notice it goes right to full screen. You can also choose several files, like these four images here, or even add a file of a different type, like a video here, or let's go ahead and add a text file as well. Now, if I press Spacebar, it will allow me to quick look all of them together. Notice I have these arrows here, and I could click on those or just use the right arrow and go through just those files and it will just loop through the files that are selected there like that. I can combine this with full screen here if I want. Notice I've got these arrows here, and I can flip through all of them, making basically a slideshow. In fact, you've got a play and pause button here, and this will act just as a slideshow. So a quick way to do a slideshow is, say, select a few images like this, press the space bar, and then go full screen, or better still, use Options Spacebar, and it goes full screen, and it's already playing slideshow. So it's going to go to the next one and to the next one after that until you use 
the pause button here to stop it. In addition, notice if you have a few files selected and you use Quick Look, you can now use this button up here to create an index sheet that shows all of the ones you have selected. It can be more than just images as well. Let's add a pages document here and also a video. And if I use spacebar and then click here, I could see those six files here in an index sheet. I can actually click on one and it will go to it. I go back to the index sheet like that. This also looks good in full screen. If you go full screen, you've still got the index sheet button here. And this is how it looks. And you could jump to each individual one and then back to the index sheet. Now notice how when you do go full screen, you get this black background. That does something interesting when you select, say, a text file. Something doesn't have its own background color. Usually you get black text on a white background, but if you go full screen, it'll give you white text on a black background. So if you want to see that to begin with, you can just use option and space to jump right to the full screen view. Now, so far we've looked at all sorts of different kinds of files, but we haven't looked at folders. If you select a folder and you use quick look, you'll get just the folder icon here, but you get some interesting information to the right. You get the total size of all the files in that folder and how many items there are in it, in addition to a last modified date. It's the same information you get when you use command I here, but with quick look, you can still navigate between different items. So let's use spacebar here and I'll shrink this window and move it over to the right. Now I can select other folders like this, and you can see how I can get the data on those folders pretty easily. Now, another place you can use Quick Look is when you have search results. So I'm gonna use the Finder search here, and then search for, let's say, JPEG images here in the Documents folder. And I'm gonna get all these results here. So these are files throughout my Documents folder. Notice I can select one and then use Quick Look to see what's there. I can even now jump around in this list. The Quick Look window always remains on top and I can easily preview what's there. Now Quick Look also works in Spotlight. So if you use Command Space to bring up Spotlight, then you search for something like this, you're gonna get various results. Some of those results may be files. So if we go down here to Images, for instance, it's going to show me image files that match that. If I select one, I can use Quick Look to get a better preview of it. And this works as well in documents. So here is a document, for instance, and I could preview what's in that pages file with Quick Look. As a matter of fact, in the past, Spotlight had its own little preview functionality, but now it relies completely on Quick Look to let you preview anything you find here. You can also use Quick Look inside of some apps to view things. So for instance, here in Freeform, I've got some images and I can select one and use the space bar and it will open up Quick Look. There's even a little Quick Look button there if I wanna click that instead. In Mail, if you've got an image in Mail and you wanna get a better look at it, you could select it and then press Spacebar and it opens up Quick Look to show you a larger version of it. Messages is another place where you can click to select an image and then press Spacebar to view it in Quick Look. So I hope this encourages you to explore and use Quick Look more on your Mac. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.